Did you know that with just a few clicks, you can run a user audit inside your Salesforce environment? My name is Leanne Reimel, and I'm here with Salesforce Admins to show you how you can use Salesforce Optimizer to run an audit on all of your users today. Let's take a look. Okay, so first we're going to be in our environment and we're going to go to setup. This is important to make sure that you have access to Optimizer turned on. So on the left side right here on the bottom, we can see Optimizer. And this will take us to that Setup Optimizer page, which is where we can see if we've allowed access. So if this doesn't say Access Allowed, you're going to want to click Allow Access. Now I can also change my Optimizer settings to run on a regular basis. There's really no reason not to run it monthly. Um, you can still run ad hoc optimizers, but this is a great reminder to always have a refreshed optimizer report. So I'm going to turn it to run monthly. Now, I can create a PDF from here as well, which is super handy if you're trying to generate documents to bring to like a meeting or review, um, or if you just prefer to deal in PDF. But Optimizer is built into Salesforce now. So we're gonna go into the app launcher, search for Optimizer, and I can see the Optimizer report that I ran on February 9th. So I see the date on the left of when I ran it last. If I did wanna run a new one, this is where I would do that in Run Optimizer. But I can see all of the different line items from the Optimizer report are in this view and they're sortable by these different columns. So you can sort them by action required. Since we're doing a user audit today, we're gonna to sort by type and then I can see all of my user management uh, line items here on the left. So I've got my user audit checklist on the right here in my Quip document. And the first thing I wanna check is profiles that have sysadmin perms. So this is called critical permission assignments. And this is a great thing to check to see if there's assignments uh, for modifiable data, things like that, to different users in your environment. I can also scroll through all these other user management line items here, and I can always eyeball and see, okay, you no action required means I'm doing a really great job. So user logins, it looks like all of my users are logging in regularly. There's no action required. So you don't have to actually click into every single one, but it's handy to do so if you wanna understand more about that permission. So I've got one line item here, unassigned custom profiles, and I do have a review required and it says it's gonna take under 30 minutes, so great. So I've clicked into that, I can see those custom profiles that no one is using. So this is a great opportunity to clean up my org a little bit and to make sure that we don't have custom profiles and permission sets out there that are unassigned. Um, that's just, it's more permission sets to manage, it's more profiles to manage, and if we're not using them to grant user access or to help our users be successful, there's really no reason. If you like to double check things, um, I'm always a measure twice, cut once person. So I always click in and like to make sure, okay, I've got no one assigned to this sales profile that popped up on my optimizer report. And I know as an admin that I don't intend to assign this to anyone. So I can go ahead and go back and um, delete this profile. This is definitely something that if you're... Uh, in an, an admin in a larger environment or there's multiple admins, um, this would fall into that communication um, step here to make sure that you're communicating before you're making major changes like this or documenting it appropriately. So I'm gonna go back into my optimizer console view here. Um, again, I've got more perms on the side or more optimizer line items on the side that I can check out. Um, custom profiles and custom permission sets with very few users. So here's an example. I've got a permission set that only has two users. Now I can go in, I can take a look at the permission set. And if I click right in, it takes me to the setup page for that perm set. And I can look at the users and this is actually a permission set that I'm still using. And so even though it did show up in the optimizer report, this is not something I'm gonna modify, but it is really handy that it showed up so I can make sure I include it in my audit. So on the left here, again, we've got all the line items from our optimizer report, and this is super handy for um, going through. I do like to sort by type because I think it's important to be able to kind of do different functional areas of security audits at once. Um, I'm gonna jump into setup, and I just wanna show you one last thing that I always do to make sure I can see if there's any admins um, in my org. I always like to check out the setup audit trail. This is gonna show you for your environment, everything that's happening, um, to manage the metadata or kind of admin level things that are happening. And I always like to just check this out. If I'm getting, uh, starting work on a new org, I like to see not only, um, you know, who has admin perms, but also are those people with admin perms doing admin things? Cause that might help me, um, 
maybe escalate or have more urgency as I make different changes. Now I'm ready to run a new optimizer report because I made those changes and the scan can take up to 24 hours. So when I come back, then I'll be able to access my fresh optimizer report. Awesome. So I hope you're all ready to go run your user audits in your environments today. And to learn more about Optimizer, make sure to check out the Trailhead Trail linked in our blog below. Thanks for joining us today, and we will see you next time. <laughs>